Welcome to your Inspirational Astrology Horoscope for Friday, January 27th, 2017. I'm Astrologer David Palmer, the Leo King, here to illuminate the collective consciousness. Well, thanks so much for watching this video. If you want to get this video every day, make sure that you subscribe to the Leo King app. You can find it on Apple, you can find it on Android, you can find it on my website as well. Also, if you want to get a one-on-one reading with me, check it out at inclusiveastrology.com. And today I'm doing my new moon live ceremony on my live Facebook, Spiritual Dance Music. Make sure that you check it out. We'll be doing it live later in the afternoon for the new moon ceremony. Don't miss that either. But before we take a look at all plants, let's take a look at the Leo King's plant energy here to understand where all the energy is for your Friday. And I am sending you lots of great energy. I am sending you lots of love and light. I'm hoping that you have an awesome and amazing Spectacular for Friday, especially on this new moon, and it's the Chinese New Year. And I'm putting that energy meter at the extreme position. That's because we're at a new moon, and this one's got a lot going on. Let me tell you, this is not just your average new moon. Number one, it's in the sign of Aquarius, which is not average at all. It's all about uniqueness. It's all about exploration of a higher frequency. And this is all about us really starting to see as we move forward into this. And by the way, I gotta say this, that we have entered eclipse season officially because two weeks from today is the first eclipse of the year, the lunar eclipse in Leo, everyone. So get ready, we got some eclipses coming. But you know, so these are making times much more sensitive, much more intense, and this is gonna be the initiation of what I'm gonna call the next, like, two months. However the energy is going today, pay attention to it. Mars is at the last degree of Pisces. Mars at an edgy degree. This is an intense new moon. This is all about wanting to get the hell out of crap and move forward into freshness, move forward into new things, get things going with a new moon in Aquarius, electrify, reinvent, free ourselves. But Venus is squaring Saturn today, so there's a little bit of a, of a difficult feeling. Venus square Saturn doesn't feel too good, let me tell you that. I talked about in yesterday's horoscope, if you're on the app, you know, things can break Venus square Saturn, relationships can break, there can also be some deep self-worth lessons, especially with Chiron involved, weird situations, weird things, healing, learning to surrender, learning to go with the flow and stay positive through crazy situations. All that can really turn up during this. But with this exact on the new moon, I think this new moon is saying as we ascend higher in our lives and as we're ready to move forward and out of a lot of kind of feeling like we're not knowing or, or waiting for information, we have to know our worth. We have to know our value. We have to step into our power better. We also as well need to realize, you know, maybe just to feel good to feel good is a, it, that's a good thing. And that kind of says like, that kind of sounds funny, right? But maybe, Having more of a sober look at life or more of a place where, you know what, maybe this is a time where we need to balance not just only looking for the good in things that, you know what, hard work and staying dedicated towards a positive path and getting things together in our life is an important thing. So if you notice, if you do the work right now, you'll feel better. But if you, if you only want to feel better and not do the work, and I'm not only just talking literally, I'm talking metaphysically, that's the, that's the kicker right there. Mercury as well is almost out of shadow today. As we step into tomorrow, we're coming out of that shadow period. So Mercury's about to go forward and we are now entering from now until February 6th, all the planets direct, with this amazing aspect of Mercury out of shadow, Mars in a natural sign of Aries. This is gonna be a, a week and a half here you are not gonna wanna mess with. Ride the energy fast. Take all the opportunities that are coming in front of you. Now, this new moon doesn't happen until late today. So, you know, especially if you're on Europe, it's not happening until like Saturday morning or something. I mean, you know, it's like literally this thing is like, like early morning. This thing is happening later in the Friday. So just don't think that you're stepping into your Friday or if you're in Australia, you're Saturday morning and being like, oh, it's going to like, you know, this is... We gotta get to the end of this day and there's a lot of emotion that comes up. There's a lot of aspects, but you know at the end of the day, it's all about ascending higher and breaking through these deep emotional wounds and all these kind of fear-based energies or even neurotic or even psychotic or even just lost feelings and moving past it and freeing ourselves and stepping into the air and stepping into the positivity, especially this is a huge portal opening up because we're stepping into the eclipses now, because we are also with six, all the planets direct right now, the only planet that's getting ready to go uh, shadow period, really big time, 
is Venus. So it's like, you know, we're going to have to, we're going to start seeing the Venus thing pop up about relationships and about, you know, manifesting things and projects at a very tricky, icky, dicky space coming up here. And I think it's no irony that it's coming right at the new moon, right when Mars comes in central sign and right when we come into this eclipse period. This is an exciting time in your life to get ready to move forward. And you know what? Don't let the past be your guide as far as you know, thinking that that's only going to be what happened. Let the past be your guide as in your guide of learning what not to do and more importantly, what you know has happened and what you've learned from. This is a time to let that all go. And this new moon is about a true beginning and a new energy to get excited about. But at the same token, it's not all about play. It's about learning how to work and play at the same time. It's all about learning how to feel good by doing the work and by making sure that you're not playing the victim role. Card of the day for this new moon is the chariot card reverse. So the issue about this new moon is truly about how do we really get moving forward? How do we really get our energy going and moving on? You know, there could be things that we get distracted with up in our lives that we're still not allowing ourselves to move forward on the trip into this journey. And I think that this new moon is saying, where is your hangout, man? Come on, let's go. It's like, you know, I have this buddy we used to go out to the club all the time and he took forever. And if you think I take forever, trust me, I'm a double Leo. I take for, uh, more than most guys. And I'm not like one of those guys who takes like two hours or anything. I take about 40 minutes to get ready, okay? Maybe 45. So, you know, it's like if I, I always lie to myself and say, I'll be ready in 20 minutes. Yeah, right, it takes me 40. But you know, I have that one friend who's like, dude, it takes him like an hour and a half, maybe sometimes two hours. You know, he's a tourist, you know, and so it's like, it's like, oh man, it's like, come on, dude, like, let's go. Like, in your life, like, what is it where it's just like, why are you wasting your time? Why are you wasting your energy wallowing on something or taking your time too long trying to pick some pimple or something that you shouldn't even pick? Just get going back in your life and get this thing moving and get going. This is the energy we've been waiting for for a long time and it's ushering in today. This doesn't mean like, oh my gosh, my whole life has changed today. Look and see at the subtle energy that this is finally at the point that you are crossing. Thanks so much for all your support. I truly appreciate it. I hope to see you on the app. Hope to see you today, especially at live for my spiritual dance music. But more importantly, hope to see you on the weekend on the Leo King app, which you can get at the leokingapp.com. Thanks so much for all your support. I truly appreciate it. And I will see you this weekend.